I'm Sweet Paul and today we're going to talk about colors. Did you know that you can actually make your own colors with a rich fabric dye? You don't have to just use the ones that uh, you know you can find on the on the colors chart. You can actually mix and match your own beautiful colors. Like we did in the Rit uh, Sweet Paul magazine. We have pomegranate, we have raspberry and we have blackberry. And today I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful blackberry color. And this is what you need. If you go on the Ritz Studio website, you will find a bunch of, uh, of formulas on how to make all kinds of different colors. And they're going to be very specific of what exactly you have to do. But today I'm going to make blackberry. And first we're going to use hot water. And then we're going to use mostly petal pink. So I put that in. And then we're going to use just a dash or royal blue. Like that. And we're going to mix it together. And this is like the fun part because now, ooh, this looks pretty. And then I have cut up some strips of linen and I'm going to test and see how the color is. Get it in there and see. <clears throat> Ooh. Guys, look at that. That is pretty. That is blackberry if I ever saw it. Okay, I'm gonna die too, just in case. So keep it in there for a couple of minutes. Take it out and rinse. And if you're happy with the color, dye whatever you want. If it's a t-shirt or a tote bag or a scarf or whatever. So here you have the beautiful finished color, blackberry. It's beautiful, right? And you know the great thing of doing these strips is that you know you should always you should always test your color before you you know your color whatever you you're gonna use. And the great thing is that after you're done, you hang them to dry, and then after a while you will have a bunch of them, and you just sew them together, and you make a really cool bunting. It's cool, right? <laughs> 